Hi everyone, it's Lisa. Today on Doodle Draw Art, we're going to draw the Robin logo. So I have had a request to draw the Robin logo, and in my quest for um, creative inspiration, uh, I did a quick look to see what would be the best logo to draw. Because the Robin logo that I remember uh, from growing up is back here, and then all of these different evolutions of the Robin logo have taken place over the years. So um, I had to choose one that I was going to draw for you today, and I guess, you know, really I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pick a favorite looking one since I'm doing it artistically and it ends up being uh, this Tim Drake version from 1991 that I would like to draw. Um, I'm not exactly sure what people are looking for so I would love to start some conversation in the comment section about these logos so that we could talk about which one you prefer the most. But to get started what we're gonna do is work on an oval. So here we go. It's going to be um, an oval that's diagonal on the page, like this. So again, circles and ovals, these are hard things to draw. So if you drew the Batman logo with me, you'd know that what I did was I floated it on until I was completely happy with the shape of it, the overall shape. Now this uh, this is the angle that it's leaning over on. So uh, the, this is going to be a black oval and then inside the oval we're going to have the the r shape so what's going to happen is you're going to leave about 25 percent i'm going to say of your oval uh available black and well yeah i'm going to draw the actual oval when i'm done so here i'm just gonna maybe i don't know if i want to use a ruler or not okay i'm gonna draw a ruler line just to get me started straight so here i go and I say straight, but it's, you can see it's a little bit on a tiny angle here. So I'm just going to come down from near the top of where my oval is going to be to just outside the oval. And that might be the only ruler line that I actually make. All right, so a straight line down and then a slightly angled line up like this coming over. So for the size of this oval that I've drawn, the angled line that's coming this way is it's nearly as big as the distance that I've left here from the edge of my oval. And then it's going to come up. Um, to about here, straight up, well, not straight up, parallel to the other line that I drew, so slightly angled also, slightly angled to the right on the way up. And so now this, um, this corner is going to kick out sideways in a, about a, pointing towards, I'm going to say five o'clock. So it comes down like this, and it's going to make a point, and this is actually going to come out as low as this one. So it's a longer line than it looks like. It's going to come quite far out. I'm going to angle this a little more. Haha, uh -huh, that's better. Yeah. So when this is coming out, straight out, it's going to come just a little bit further to here. And then we're going to come up, getting wider and wider. So as wide as this is, this is going to be slightly wider and it's going to come out to that same spot there. So it's going to end up being like a triangle that's coming out to here. So I'm just going to draw the other dot for the other side and just bring this line down directly out to where I ended there. Excellent. Now we're going to bring this line. See how par this line is angled this way? We're going to come and do that exact same thing here. So it helps if you trace this and then trace this. It's going to be as long and on the same angle. Then you're going to angle in this direction right here. So again, check your angle and come over here to do it. And then here we have the scoopy part for the R for the robin. So it's going to end right here, but it's going to start outside the oval. So I'm just going to come from this dot here and swoop around. So, you know, Robin has undergone a lot of changes in his character over the years. So this logo um, in the 90s sort of helped us understand the Robin that was at that time. I'm going to make another bump here. It's going to come right around. So this starts off thin. It gets thicker and it comes all the way out to about here. This is going to be a very thick middle section and it's going to bring itself right back now here's where it gets tricky uh, i don't think i made this line come up high enough because when i think about closing this r i'm going to close it around around thinking thinking okay this is what happened this line is too skinny i have to bring it out more to here more to here yeah Okay, so this is not the line, 
and this is not the line. And so if we draw this, it's going to come around here, like so. All right. Sorry about that. Sometimes this happens. I hope you used a pencil. I will post a warning earlier in the video. Use a pencil because sometimes mistakes happen. All right, so this is going to be colored yellow inside the R, like so. And the oval is going to shape itself just like this. So here we go. We're going to we're going to follow one of these lines that we made and it's going to end right here on the inside. So it's going to start here and scoop and stop. And then we're going to continue the same shape. So right here, this is sort of should be, should be more overly, uh, comes along and it's going to exit right about the same spot that we left here. And then again on this side, it's going to kick out just a little bit and come down. So we've got a really nice smooth arcing oval. All right, so to finish this, we're going to go over our final lines with a black permanent marker and color in the inside with yellow. So there's two ways you can do this. Um, I'm going to do the yellow first, actually. This is the one way you could do it. You could do all the outlining and then come back with yellow. But the trouble is sometimes we end up um, with the yellow bleeding a little bit because of the permanent marker not being as permanent as we would like. So this way we'll be sure to have no bleed over. So I'm going to go ahead and color this. All right, so I have colored in all the yellow and outlined all the black, and now I'm just going to erase my pencil lines and proceed with coloring in the black. So please do tell me in the comments section which logo you prefer for Robin or which character evolution you like for Robin. Um, he was just really such a pixie sidekick back in the in the early days of Robin and then really he started to develop a little bit more of his own. There was Red Robin, you know there's just so much um, variety in that character. So if you're a real Robin fan, why don't you share some of your facts and insights? Of course, if you liked watching me draw this logo, please click like. And uh, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, it means you'll have an easier time in the future finding my videos. So please subscribe for more Doodle Draw art. And I would love it if you would share my videos with your friends, because that is really the highest form of compliment that you could give an artist is to share their work with other people. So if you could share this on your social networks or if you could even share this with a human being in person, that would be fabulous because, you know, real life sharing, that is way more real than online sharing, believe it or not. All right, so thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.